Okay, so um, there's been some objection to me saying that uh, you need at least one and a half volts for an LED or four and a half for a stack of three or whatever. LEDs are not rated by voltage. Uh, that's fine, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, everybody has a little diode check function on their cheapo digital voltmeter, right? So, what exactly does that mean? Well, if I have the diode hooked up backwards, negatively biased, I should get a 1, which indicates an, uh, uh, an open circuit. That is, the diode is not conducting in that direction, right? If I turn the diode around, and if the diode is good, the number that I read on the meter is the forward voltage drop of the diode. This is the minimum voltage that you have to supply to the diode in the forward bias direction to get it to conduct a specific amount of current, which is not very much. This is a very efficient LED, so it's actually uh, lit up at 1.6 volts forward uh, bias there. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is turn the voltmeter to the 20 volt DC range and I have here a small regulated power supply and I'm going to hook up the regulated power supply to the LED okay so now the voltmeter <coughs> is showing us the voltage output of the regulated power supply that's going into the LED now I'm going to turn the regulated power supply up very gradually and you can see the voltage coming up on the meter still no action on the LED right so there's a 1 volt 1.4 volts now the LED is just starting to glow dimly here at a supply of 1.65 volts if I take it up a little bit higher to say 2 volts you can see that the LED is now glowing nice and brightly okay so what this is telling you is that you need to supply at least 1.6 volts to this kind of an LED before it starts conducting and glowing. Okay. Now if I had a stack of three of these in series, you would have to supply the whole stack with three times that. Say, four, what is that, 4.8 volts, almost 5 volts, to get a stack of three of these to glow in series. Okay. Now note that there's no resistors in this circuit. I haven't said anything about resistance. I'm just talking about the voltage needed to overcome the minimum forward voltage of the diode. Okay, so thank you.